I've been up for, I can't barely even see out of this eye. I've been up for an hour just on my phone. I really need to stop doing that. But last night, I, before I go into bed, I read two chapters. So I'm really gonna try to focus on reading two chapters at least if it's a small book or a chapter if it's a bigger book just so that I'm not on my phone let's go and see if grandma is awake good morning can I open your blinds yeah I know I've been they did that's when it stopped waking me up. Yeah. You want to go to the pool? Yeah. I will eat first before we go, right? You want to eat before you go into the pool? It's about to be. It's about to be nine. Already? Yeah, girl. Oh, me just late. Yeah. Where's your phone? Oh, okay. My phone? Yeah. Okay, what is? I don't know. 8.47, See, I told you, it's supposed to be 9. Yeah, let's go to the pool for a little bit. Maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then we can eat breakfast. Okay. That's good. That's what you, you could do that, you know, when you go in the water. Mm -hmm. Just do that. And see, like right here where I'm here, mm -hmm. I'm going up and down. Yeah. Up and down. You're doing a really good job, Grandma. Huh? You're doing a really good job. Oh, girl. So Grandma took me through... A water aerobics course that she's done in the past and it was really good some it was a full body workout and now she's just doing a few laps and then we're gonna go back to the apartment and make breakfast because it's gonna be 10 o'clock soon but it was really good it was I feel like she should be a water aerobics teacher with the way that she went through it. But yeah, now she's just doing a few laps. She's getting all her strokes in. She's doing a backstroke, breaststroke. Um, butterfly. And then freestyle. I don't know why I blinked on the types of uh, swimming, but yeah. All right, so we're making breakfast. We got some eggs, turkey bacon, roasted garlic hummus, these lavash uh, flatbread, some plum cloth, plum cots, plum cots, and goat kefir with some granola. green juice, decaf coffee, and then our seasoning of choice, onion salt because it's easy, olive oil spray, and then some date syrup as well. Because I might have some tea. I might have some peppermint tea this morning. Um, and this is the smallest thing I've never had date syrup, but I know it's good for you. So we're going to get this breakfast on the road. Grandma is taking a shower. So I'm in charge of breakfast. It's RSM. All right, so we're about to head out and we've been using sunscreen every day, reef safe, even though we're not going into the ocean, but still want to mention that. And then we're using insect repellent because we're here in Florida, but also the mosquitoes, the flies, the bees are all out. And I've been using this insect repellent from Public Goods. It works really well. I haven't noticed that I've gotten bitten since using it. And I've been using it for basically this whole year. And it's lasted quite a while because in Colorado, we don't have like a lot of mosquitoes and stuff like that. So I mainly used it when we were in Hawaii and then here and then obviously in the summertime, especially at night in Colorado, that's when I use it the most because that's when those bugs, <laughs> the mosquitoes and stuff like that be coming out. 
in the summertime in Colorado is typically at night. But yeah, public goods, insect repellent. And it's natural, so it doesn't have like a chemically chemical feel to it and you don't have to worry about it going into your skin. But it is DEET free, vegan friendly, paraben free, gluten free. It has a natural fragrance and it's cruelty free and it's healthy ingredients with nothing to hide. That's what it says on the bottle. I can tell you the active ingredient is lemongrass oil and then the inert ingredients are water, vanilla, castor oil, soya, lecithin, lemon, vitamin E, and that's pretty much it. And it hasn't irritated my skin. And I think it costs like $12. And for something that's like pretty natural at eight fluid ounces, I would say that's pretty good. So my grandma and I have been using it and we really like it and it smells really good because of that lemongrass oil. So we are about to head out now. I think we're gonna try to go to Sephora if I can find one and Top Golf because we have a coupon for Top Golf and might as well go golfing because that's what my grandma wanted to do on this trip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go golfing at Top Golf. I've always wanted to go so hopefully it goes well. I will say I'm not good at golf. I'm just, I'm just not good at it. I'm gonna be real. for our money we did you liked uh top golf yeah i do i would good. like oh, but when you I were went in there, you yeah. weren't sure and then yeah I got in there. as it we started good. playing it yeah. got better i like it like are you gonna go when you get home uh -huh. nice. i definitely do that when i get home cool that's really i'm definitely trying that <laughs> Uh, on a Tuesday? Yeah, that's make that a date. They said it go do at that. a select store. So it might not be at every store, but hopefully. But I have to call them and find out yeah, what would, day you would have. You would need to confirm. Yeah. And then you want to go to Eddie Bauer? You want to see if we can find an Eddie Bauer for you to go to? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's totally and fine. And then what, what are we doing now? We got to find where we're going to eat supper. Okay. What are you going to do it now? Or are you going to. Well, I'm going to just show like what I got. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me just turn down the exposure. Because it's a little too high. So, got out of Sephora. I just needed minis. So, I got the Patrick Ta. It is the um, clear gel formula, the laminated brows. So, got that. Let's put the beauty guru and do that for you. I got a mini. Uh, uh, de Parfum by Clean Reserve in the scent Rain, as you can see there. This is one of my favorite scents and brands for perfume. Then I got the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Universal Volumizing, oh, Volumizing Mascara in Black. So 
So I've got that right there. And then lastly, I got the KVD Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. Yeah, and that was like the only mini. So I wanna try the brow gel, just kind of up my brows a little bit, get them in place. I just needed minis because I didn't know where everything was when I was packing up for this trip. So I was like, I can go to Sephora and get some minis. Ooh. Okay, Patrick Ta. I like the brush. brows just look okay I feel it kind of like gluing down <laughs> uh, it's one of the products where you can feel it so that's interesting uh, we'll see how I like that then I'm just gonna do some mascara I'm not gonna do the liner because that's gonna take too long oh this thing is thick it's like thicker than my fingers and I have pretty big fingers see mm -hmm. feel it okay oh I had it upside down okay that's the brush there last but not least perfume <laughs> her eyes are closed Something to do with. It smells good. Yeah, it's my favorite Very scent. Heavy. Yeah, it's a light scent. It is like a. What does it describe it as? Rain. Yeah, it's a watery musk. Mm. But yeah, this the scent is rain. It's literally my go-to from mm. from them. Let me close this, and then you guys can see. I look way more put together now just just a little bit of eyeliner mascara the brows are up i can feel the brow product like i didn't put anything besides clear brow gel so there's no like tinting or whatever but you can see the liner like that is sharp and the mascara is nice too what are your thoughts it looks good you like it yeah it looks really good okay well we're gonna go to eddie bauer now so she can shop till she drops because she no, she literally talks about eddie bauer like nobody's business right grandma mm -hmm. she'll bring it up with no context be like eddie bauer is the bomb man <laughs> all right we're gonna head there now all right let me put this here walk off the food we ate <laughs> the shrimp we had was really good at that restaurant it was really delicious highly recommend that place but yeah we're just gonna walk probably go to the little store buy grandma a snack and then head in for the evening because you know we're on vacation we don't really have too much of a plan 
or too much things that we are trying to do. Also, we have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. Oh, I was really uh, exposed, overexposed. But yeah, we have no idea what we're doing tomorrow. Hello, I am just drinking some peppermint tea. Mm. I put a little bit of a date syrup in there. It was really good, really delicious. But yeah, I'm just in a very thankful, grateful mood, I would say. I've just been very reflective of things that have happened recently as they have happened like today the fact that that coupon that we had didn't work out but that we went on the best day to go to top golf and get the best deal and have such a great time doing it truly such a huge blessing and I was just like praising God because yeah, I'm just, I'm really thankful for what he's done in my life and what he continues to do and how he continues to bless me, even though this summer has been really challenging and difficult with a lot of health stuff. I have one thing figured out in terms of my health stuff and the rest I don't but I have confidence that it's gonna be okay regardless and I just have to trust in God um, and although it might not turn out the way that I want it to turn out it's still gonna be good and I'm gonna get through it regardless. So yeah, I feel like there's just been a lot of good <laughs> and there's been some trials and tribulations for sure, but I feel like all of this is happening to draw me near and draw me back to God and have true reconciliation and to disconnect with the idols that are in my life. So yeah, that that has been really great and good for me to experience. And honestly, it is an answer to prayer. So I'm just really thankful and I have a grateful heart and I just feel like things are happening in the appropriate time it's supposed to happen for me in my life uh, exactly when I need it and in ways that I truly could not have thought of and I'm also just really thankful for the community that I have the people that I've surrounded myself with like they say you're a mix of the people the top five people that you hang out with the most and I would say that my community, which I know is more than five people, has just been super solid and been there for me in my time of need. And I want to pay it back and pay it forward. Um, but honestly, everyone has just been so generous with me and it's been absolutely insane to experience and it's been a huge blessing and kind of overwhelming because it's just things have worked out at the last minute for me 
like at the last minute exactly when I needed them to in ways that I just couldn't have asked and it's just been such a huge blessing and wonderful to experience that I have a really solid community a community that's there for me that has my back that wants what's best for me that loves me that likes me so all that to say is I hope that you're surrounding yourself with really good people in your life and if you feel like you don't have those people be the change that you want to see I know that's like a really cliche thing but I was actually I wonder one moment well I was following this person I still follow them but on Instagram and she posted this saying it was along the lines of we're only able to experience kindness when we are able to give it that really resonated with me because it is true sometimes you could experience kindness but if you're not able to give it you don't really fully understand the extent of that kindness that you are receiving and so I just encourage you with community if you feel like you're not surrounded by people who are cheering you on or wanting what's best for you they love you they like you be the change that you want to see and be there for your community in the ways that you want them to show up for you and maybe they'll start showing up for you in that way or you'll start gravitating towards people who show that same love that same value in relationships or that same characteristic in relationships that you value in relationships because you'll be displaying that and you'll gravitate naturally towards people who display the same characteristics and attributes so yeah i am also just really really loving this book gentle and lowly highly recommend it um it's the heart of christ for sinners and sufferers i'm only like six chapters in yeah and it is just really really good and meeting me where i'm at and just it's just a very beautiful book um and showing me the actual heart of christ and how it is for sinners and sufferers um for those who draw near to god anyways i am going to read this book i'm going to read a few chapters before i go to bed because it is currently 8 43 and i'm going to look up stuff that we can do tomorrow my grandma and i tomorrow honestly might be like a rest day for us we might just go to the pool uh this morning my grandma took me through a water aerobics course so that's what we did in the pool today i didn't show any of that because we are both in the pool and there are other people in the pool and i just wanted to be a little bit respectful and mindful of that this trip is just truly to be a vacation and not to like do the most we're here to do the least but a little bit of something so if you made it this far thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i'll see you in the next one bye